guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. Um, this week is special because we are actually currently shopping in England to bring you back the best thrifted, boot sale, flea marketed finds we can come up with. But we have pre-recorded this week's thrift haul so you can shop all of these items that we currently have at jamierayvintage.com. We're gonna tell you what we paid for it and what we're gonna sell it for. Um, if you go to the website, just click Saturday Thrift Haul, everything's on there. Caitlin is also on here responding to questions um, and dropping links. We will not be on here because it's like the middle, of early, very It's almost early morning. morning time. It's almost morning time in England when you're watching this. So super excited, we're gonna get started. Um, this week is a really good mix, I feel like. Um, a little bit more traditional in style. So super excited for this traditional thrift haul. I'm gonna bring this close so that you can actually experience how big this dictionary is. It's a Webster's. The weight of this unabridged 19, is it 1956? <laughs> yes. Uh, dictionary. Yep, unabridged second edition, uh, new 20th century. I got it because I love dictionaries, but also- Because you like big books and you cannot lie? <laughs> yes. I thought this, this would be a great statement piece, like just sitting on a coffee table or even up on your bookshelf. It's got gold and blue on, on the lettering here and just really great. It's illustrated inside. It's got colored pictures of world maps in the back. I just it's think just it's, good. it's so great with older dictionaries, especially like that, because the world has changed so much. And to just like look up what words meant, what words are not even in there because they didn't used to say those things back then. Like it's super fun. It's like a part of history. And these were worth, these were sold for over well over a hundred dollars when I looked up this particular year and we're selling ours for $59.95. $59.95. And I got to stop holding it because I'm about to start breathing heavy because it's so <laughs> big. We're going to show you the next $59.95 item, which happens to be directly in front of me. Zeb, why don't you tell me about these cloches? Cause you found them, you made the marriages. Let's so I found the cloches, which a cloche like this out in the uh, out in the wilds could run you about sixty seventy dollars this size. Or hundred. Yeah, this that size I would say probably more like a hundred just for the cloche. I went the extra mile and made a thrift store marriage for you, and I found this delightful plate. This was four dollars. This was two dollars at the thrift store. Together, they're going to be fifty nine ninety five. We are going to have to. I'll show you on the back. Somebody must have tried to glue something to this. There's hot glue. It looks so, like it was one of those like candlestick pedestal things yeah, that but, people make. You can't do that with hot glue. So we'll get it warm. We'll get the glue removed, and then it'll be good to go. All right, and then this other one here, same story on it. I found a fun plate to go with it. Um, this one just has scroll along the edge. I couldn't find a fun scallopy one that fit, but this plate was a dollar, and the bigger cloche was five dollars, and this one will be seventy nine ninety five. Picture this with like a really pretty tree inside of it, with like sparkly little ornaments, like a little fig tree topiary or something. Oh my gosh, it would be so cute. And then like in the spring, and put like a topiary in it. Like you could really. That's what I love. Someday I'm gonna get my life organized enough that I can have one of these cloches and decorate inside of it. Like it's life goals for me. I know I look like I'm mostly organized, but I have yet to have time in my life to change out a cloche, but someday. Let's just keep showing glass stuff. Okay, this is exciting because this is from Italy. The maker is, it's actually a little, um, I don't, I don't like, wanna. I just need to wash it. I don't wanna throw anybody under the bus, but hands down, Italy has the best glass. So the funny thing is people say, how do you know it's not just a Walmart picture, right? Like, how did you know it was good? So for me, when I'm looking for glassware like this, I can tell you right now that shape is not is hand blown. Let me Just bring the it shape close. of the spout. I didn't know it was Italian, but the spout, the um, handle. Just the glass is thicker. Usually, when they're when you get like a widely manufactured pitcher, uh, the glass is much thinner. Let me look up the name because I. Uh, I, I used Google reverse image and because of the uniqueness of the spout, I was able to tell it's like Mario something or other, but they retail brand new for just under $60. How much did we pay for that one? Three. $3 and we're selling it for? $29.95. $29.95. Let me look up the maker. Come on, Mario, you're, oh, Michelangelo by Luigi Bormillo, Bormilli. There you go. Did you get that right? If you're Italian, I'm sorry for the hacking of that name. But anyways, it's made in I... Italy. It's hand blown. It's not, it, there are no seams in it. Um, and the, my favorite, like this handle is just really beautiful. Like I can, I can almost see them like making it. Anyways, I love hand blown glass, $29.95. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna stop talking about this nice piece of glass. <laughs> then we have, I'm gonna also bring this close just cause you won't be able to see the detail. This is crystal. Oh, it's it, fluted too. I didn't notice that. Yes, and etched. It had a friend <laughs> and I was wrapping it at the thrift store and it rolled right off the counter and it no longer has a friend. Um, this was a dollar. We're selling it for $8.95. We need somebody to give this lonely glass a good home. I tried to look up the maker and couldn't find it. So I just priced it based off of what I perceive the value to be based off of how pretty it is. Well, in the new era of cottage coreness, um, things like this are perfect. Still functional, still beautiful, but mixing and matching your glassware, your dishware, your silverware, the very popular. The don't even pick up how beautiful this etched glass is. Like, it's just gorgeous. My thought is, would this not be so cute with a little round floral arrangement? Mm -hmm. Like, instead of using it, since it is missing its friend, it could live a new life with a floral arrangement in it. Yeah, I like it. All right, moving on. Okay, we have a few of these. These are milk jugs. They're repops. So when I looked them up, they were selling anywhere from well over $30 to $50 each because people assumed they were real because they're good repops. They actually look like a lot of um, uh, French milk jugs that I've seen. And the, I would not have known that it was not indeed French if it didn't have the world market sticker on the bottom. And that's when I realized, oh, these are Repops, but they're good ones. But even Repop, this is still porcelain. This is still the correct it's writing. Seal. It says um, milk of Normandy is what it says on there. Yeah, late is milk. So, and if you ask for uh, late, late, is that how you pronounce it? I, don't, I think the, I think the tea, does they do something anyways, weird If you with the ask tea. for it at a restaurant, they're going to bring it to you in a creamer. And if you proceed to try to drink your milk out of the creamer, they're going to be like, no, and then they'll bring you a wine glass for your milk. Ask me how I know. <laughs> the first time we were in, we were across the street. She was having a dessert and she's like, I need some milk with this. Yeah, we were across the street um, from Versailles eating dinner and I, it was a steakhouse and I asked for milk with my dessert and they looked at me funny and then they brought me out just a creamer because most, most people want milk with their coffee. I don't drink coffee. So anyways, uh, yeah, they think we're weird for drinking a lot of milk, but I love it. I actually can't wait till our cow is in milk again. Like Zeb and I are counting down the days because store-bought milk just isn't my thing. And I'm not going to pay $14 a gallon for the seven gallons of milk that we drink a, a week. So that's a lot. That's a steep bill. Patiently waiting on Miss Buttercup to have her baby. She's probably going to wait. She's crossing those legs till we leave. You know that, right? Yeah, I tried to uh, stress her out a little bit. We trimmed her hooves. Ty and I did this morning. We didn't get them all the way done, but we got we got pretty good. Like she was getting to the point where they were starting to curl up and she was tripping. And I was like, I can't wait for anyone to come out here. I've never done this before, but I've done enough things with large animals. I felt confident that we could get it done. And we, it is not a pretty manicure, but she can walk real good now. <laughs> you didn't get out the nail polish for that? I did buff her nails with a file, but it was a more of a rasp. <laughs> to shape them so that they weren't just like cut off straight in the front. <laughs> well, I'm hoping my brother-in-law Ryan will come up in the next couple of months. I would love and that. And he's a farrier. He's not like He doesn't horse. do cows either. He doesn't do cows, but everyone he I find does horses, but he's good at like knowing where to trim. You have to be careful with dairy cows cuz sometimes the the uh I don't even know the right term, but the, the cartilage? Yeah, there's like stuff underneath the horn that has like blood vessels and things. You don't want to get into that. So we were very cautious. All right, this little wreath was a dollar? Yeah, it's so cute. Like I would love, I would hang it like on the back of a chair or I don't know, like it's just darling. It's the perfect size to like hang somewhere in a vignette. And it was a dollar, I think. We're selling for $6.95. Yeah. I wish I could find more because those would be super cute in the shop. Yeah, you need like 10 of them. I'm always really sad when I find something um, good and then I can only find one of it. I actually think that's why people love coming to our store because it's like a treasure hunt. You never know <laughs> what you're going to find. Some things I carry in multiples because I order wholesale, but I would say over 75% of what we carry is a unique item or handmade. Well, and a lot of the things that we do carry um, up from, from like wholesale vendors is stuff like the, uh, the jadeite. Um, that's things like very good, anyway. like high end, um, using original molds, things like that. Like we very try to be very cautious about some of these I things. Buy what I can't find other places. That's what I carry. That's how I know. Okay, so solid brass made uh, in Korea. 
uh, from Teleflora, but these are vintage. These actually um, had like the, a sticker inside of it. They've never been used. They were a dollar fifty mm -hmm. each, Three but they set. came with a set. And I'm selling for eight ninety five each for these brass um, pins, and then six ninety five for the smaller ones. So they're made to put like a floral foam in and make a floral arrangement. That's what Teleflora used them for. Um, but they could be used for anything. And brass sells very well for us. We actually, I think, have sold out of all of our little brass containers. So I'm excited to find these. Yep. And in new, old condition. A little tarnished, but not bad. Brass and tarnished silver. I feel like everyone we talk to that does what we do that's in the Midwest, they're like, I can't sell tarnished silver. I'm like, well, I'm going to come make a run on all your tarnished silver yeah. and bring it back to my place. I feel like people just need to see how good and high end it can look. I want to do some, you guys comment below, would you be interested in some videos where I do vignette staging and show you how to use some of the things like that we have in our own home because I think that would be a fun um, series. I also want to do a series of shorts showing you how we pack our thrifted finds because we get so many compliments from customers on how well these items are packed. And while I can't take credit for that, my gals are amazing. I think it would be fun to like show you what goes into packing these weird shapes. All right, we have a little pewter ballerina. She was She's a dollar so at the thrift store. It's hard to hold her. My girls would have loved that when they were little. Both my girls were tiny dancers. Odelia loves it now. She's tried to take <laughs> it four times. I'm like, Odelia, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell Jack with his Nerf guns. You get a new Nerf gun, you gotta get rid of an old Nerf gun. And she wasn't willing to part with any of her old stuff, so no ballerina for Odelia. <laughs> Odelia has many a tchotchkes. Um, my girls both danced from ages like three, I think Eliza was three and Odelia was four when they started doing ballet. And I just, I love dance. I, I did, I was not a dancer. It's funny because people always are like, did you dance and do cheer? And I'm like, she did I cheer. did cheer, but not for a long time. She's captain. I, I was, I was the captain of eighth grade, just saying. Can uh, you imagine but, how much energy she would bring to a cheer squad? Like, and gusto and the volume of those cheers. I'm not gonna lie, I never got good. to see her chair. It was before I met her. I'll do one for you later. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's show them this bean pot. All right, bean pot, love them, love the shape of them. Uh, very kind of earthy, organic feel. This one is like good stoneware. It's and in really glazed. good condition. Um, it's made it, in the USA. Yes, I was stamped. about to say it's stamped USA right here. Um, it was $4. We're selling it for $24.95. Um, online, when you look these up, realistically, you're going to probably, if you if you go to like 30, an 40, Etsy shop or, or eBay, it's you're, like you're looking at like $35 at, least, at the minimum. And this one's in really good condition, better condition than a lot of my Crocs that I have. All right. Show them our basket. We got this fun little basket. It looks kind of primitive. It's got a Handmade. square bottom, a rounded top. Just love it on on like the little the the reeds that were used. It's got a little piece of oak here it's in the bottom. Kind of tribal inspired. It looks like something that they might have used to put like fish in. You know? I would imagine this has got some little grooves, almost like finger joints in here. I'd imagine if done up properly, this probably had a rope handle or something that wrapped around the bottom, maybe oh, twine, because it's got the this across the whole bottom so if you feel like you need to add that go right on ahead but I'm not gonna I'm just telling you what it probably had before we got it um, but it was two dollars it's gonna be $14.95 sorry I'm getting messages from the shop somebody wants to buy a piece of furniture <laughs> it's funny because I feel like all summer long it's like this furniture drought comment below and let me know if this is the same for you but people start thinking about their house for the holidays and we start like we we don't we some most of our furniture online and ship it. Honestly, locally, we sell more decor and paint. And we sold our pink dresser locally, which is great. I always well, love it when I don't have to ship something. It was kind of locally. She's from Wyoming. Oh. Uh, and she was driving through no, to go see her. her kids in St. George. No, it was somebody else. Was it someone else? It was somebody else who had came in the day before, oh, okay. measured it, and went home. Oh, gotcha. All right. And then we have another dresser waiting to be picked up by James, and then we just had another message. So that means if we sell another piece, we'll get to paint furniture. Furniture, furniture season is upon us. I love it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> okay. Um, this is just a frame. I actually like the, well, obviously it's a frame. You guys can tell. <laughs> uh, I like the paint finish, and we paid $3 for it. And we're just gonna put, we'll clean it up because it's actually got some, I don't know what that is on it. And then we'll put some fun, I'm it just thinking looks like a it pastoral got, it has some water print. Drips. 
Yeah, if we have time, we will. We have actually two that are going to get prints. We'll do them in this video. Show them this one too. Yeah, we'll turn the camera off, print them out, and finish the video. So this will be $19.95 once it gets art. And then this one, I actually, I've not seen one like this before. No, so this has like two stands on the back. And then this is, we're probably going to leave the paint job alone yeah, on cool. this too. It's got like this silver almost. Um, and it's wood. What's that? Mer brush? Mercury glass look. Yeah, and it is wood. There is like a crack here, but it's it's almost like a plaster paint underneath mm -hmm. the silver. Um, it's made in India, so this is really common with some of the Indian finishes that I found. It actually does have. We checked. These are not like the pictures that come with it. Somebody, somebody that's just someone's family. That's someone's family. They're like, I can't take it anymore. I've got to take this frame to the thrift store, and I, didn't even bother to take the family out. Makes you sad. So, um, we are going to remove this family and send it with some art. And same thing with this, it had like a wedding picture in it. Yeah, it's, you could see like the date it was printed off. I was like, oh, all right. Uh, people, remove your personal family photos before you donate stuff. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna remove the photos and put some art in there. This will be twenty six ninety five, and we paid. I mean, whoever photographer they had is pretty good. I mean, they look like professional pictures. Isn't it funny? We paid three dollars for this one and two dollars, and I think this is the that better one's friend. heftier and and uh, like actually larger. This is probably wise. MDF, and this one is wood. Yeah. All right, we have these two totes. One is missing a little wire handle. I will remedy that before it ever comes your way. I actually have some copper rod that's used for brazing. And I think what I will do is get one of those copper rods, even though these are kind of like a, they, they look like they're a painted brassy situation. Um, but I'll put, I'll put the handle back in over here. They're gonna get painted. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go white. I've been wanting to paint a lot of things just like a bright, clean white and distress back through. We haven't done that in quite a while. Um, we do a lot of the apothecary color sandy blonde Crockery. and then we do dark wax and things i just i'm gonna we're gonna get back to doing some just plain old white because it goes with everything and these kind of have like a red hint tint to them they were ten dollars for the set well and to be honest it's october but january is only a couple of months away and we like to do yes. lots of white clean finishes because in january you know it's the holidays and everything's maximalist and i'm telling you right now if you're a reseller January, people want simplicity, organization, light and bright. They've and just so been overwhelmed by the holidays. They've been locked in their houses because of snowstorms. And they're like, all right, January's here. We got to get this stuff out. So we did all of our <laughs> Christmas stuff. It's in the shop. Christmas Palooza has happened there. And so we're already planning, okay, we need to start white and bright, getting that going. Next month, we'll start getting ready for Valentine's Day and then busting in the spring. When you're in this business, you always got to be like planning ahead. So white and bright is coming. They're gonna be $69.95 for the set and they nest. Isn't that cute? So, and these are sturdy yeah. enough. Um, you could use these like little stools. Oh, for sure. I don't sure. know if I would stand like me. I'm a bigger guy, about 235 right now-ish. You're, you're the perfect I'm on, size. I'm on the down end of the 230s, so we'll see. I, 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 my, my weight's been doing this on the various medications they've been trying me out on to help and with diets. my Hashimoto's. Um, but I think we've about got it regulated and I'm on a downswing right now. I don't like it when you go below 220. But I would not stand on this, but Jamie could totally stand on this. Probably not gonna because I don't have a lot of grace. <laughs> All right, next up, Zeb passed on this because he's like, it just looked bad. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, picture it without the ivy. So the I, couldn't see, I couldn't unsee the ivy, and Jamie totally was like, yeah, look at this without the so ivy. So we're not painting it, but we will remove the ivy, and then Zeb will take his pliers. It's got and some staples it's in it. It's got here. some staples in it, which I think will be fine because it, it's already got some nail holes that they painted over. So we'll delicately remove the staples. But look how cute this is. It's handmade, solid wood. It's got like every little bird area trimmed out. Um, and then it's got these little like fake plants, like grass. It's, and it's got a window even on this side. Does it have a window on that side? Um, no, no window There's over one here. There's one here, one here. Anyways, it's just cute. I like how it's off like cantilevered over here. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Yeah, you so cute. It. it was $5, which is a smoking deal. Once it's all cleaned up, um, I might even like lightly distress it a little bit on the edges, it's but I'm a, not repainting it. It's got like it. something greasy over here by the ivy, where the ivy was. We might need a magic eraser or something. I'm gonna clean this situation up and it's gonna be 36 It looks like it's lived in a garage for a minute. I never pass a good birdhouse. And usually Zeb doesn't either. Like I'm, this dusty ivy was throwing him off his game. 
It was. I thought maybe you hadn't seen well, it. Well, I, I was trying know. to buy stuff that we didn't need to paint, and I totally would have thought you would have painted that. But now that the ivy's gone, the no, white and the good. green is it's good. It's totally cottagey. Like, forest green is coming back. It's funny because I made, no, I didn't make fun of, but I teased a little bit when Dion came out with Monet's garden. <laughs> and now I'm seeing forest green come in all these, like, cottagey applications. And I'm like, oh, I like that. <laughs> All right, next up we have this really cute, you remember last week we had the recipe book. This one is a little bit more contemporary, traditional in design. I love that it's black. To be honest, the red was not my jam. So this is definitely something I put in my house. It was $2 and it's 20, is that 29? Yeah, I think that's a $29. $29.95 for this. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to find another one because I love to put recipe books in the shop or like decorating books on them. They're really good for display. So I always pick these up. They always sell before I can really do much with them in the store, but I love them. I love all things hand turned, hand carved, wood items. Um, super passionate about what woodworking. Is that? Oh, so this is for Mexican hot chocolate. It's called a Molinillo. Molinillo? Molinillo. So the first L is one L, the second L is a doble L, so it's Molinillo. Yeah, you say it with a Y. Y, like tortilla. Um, I don't. I just think it's really beautiful, actually. I would just put it in yeah, with my utensils. Yeah, it's really cool. I probably wouldn't mix my hot chocolate with it, it because I use It could be a scepter for your Halloween costume. <laughs> It's just really cute, and I love the light wood, and it's hand-turned, handmade, and it's $12.95, and it was 75, 75 cents. cents. Yep. So it's a good one. Maria actually, I think, will like that one. All right, next up, oops, sorry. What happened to your mic? It's like bugging me. You know, I can't ha handle things around my neck. All right, little, this is an enamel teapot with a wood handle and wood uh, um, topper knob up top. Uh, I, it probably needs a good scrub out. It looks like something greasy is in there. It looks like it's but a I think it's, it's totally functional. It's either $1.50 fifty or two dollars. There's two price tags on it. We got it for a dollar fifty. Oh, did we? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. And then um, we're selling it for uh, eighteen ninety-five. Yeah, it's a great cobalt. It's blue. got a little. It had a, took a little header. Um, it's got some dings. But if I were to buy this like in England and it was enamel from England, I'd probably charge like fifty bucks for it. So you yeah. get the look but not the price. Is it from England? It doesn't say. I don't know where it's from. I thought it might've been from Ikea because Ikea used to make them, but there's no marking on the bottom and Ikea typically um, the stamps the branding. bottom of their pieces and there's no stamp there. All right, Zeb found this, I passed it, uh, but Zeb I like the little it. feet, this is cast iron on top, this knob and it'll just get a quick paint job. Probably also gonna go white, like I'm gonna, paint a lot of things white and it all looks different because when you distress through you're going to get red back through on this you're going to get brown and tan back through um, so when you're doing when you're painting neutral colors keep that in mind like what's your base color because if you distress it you're going to get a two-tone and it makes them like kind of match together and you can have a cohesive theme but also not be like so matching that's like bam in your face matchy matchy well and i like to use cottage color white linen because it has a built-in sealer and hopefully when we're done with this video we'll find time we're going to do a edit paint a palooza and that will be the video that went up if it went up it, it will have already happened it. and went up friday and if you didn't watch it look back at the channel and see if we actually achieved it um this was three dollars we're selling it for 19.95 all right this poor little guy i was so excited when i found this little rooster because i liked it it didn't need a paint job um and then i was putting the the blow mold candles back that were giant because i'm like eh, i don't know what i did I'm not gonna... tell him to put them back no it was, it was i was like i don't know what choice. i'm gonna do with these uh and so i i put it back and this was sitting on the lip of one of those on the bottom and it flipped it right out of the cart and broke it so gonna get glued together gonna get sanded up here where this little piece broke off uh, and this will get a paint job. It'll be a dollar. It was a dollar fifty at the thrift store. It'll be eight ninety five. Um, this one here was two dollars. Jamie overpaid by fifty cents because my rooster's bigger. But this this. But uh, it's not broken because I didn't drop it. This is this is his hen. Um, they're they're match set. But this one was two dollars. We're not painting this one. It's going to be six ninety five. Yeah, if that one wasn't broken, I wouldn't paint it. 
Yeah, same. Because I like that coloration but on I it. I got to glue it up and, and do some repairs and some sanding. It's all right. It's not like the first time or the last time that we'll ever break anything. Next up, we have this Ray Dunn mug. People keep telling us that Ray Dunn is going out of style, but we keep selling them. And a lot. I looked up this mug. Zeb paid $2. Normally, we pay like a buck or back 50 But I looked this up. These sell for about $14.95 for the Love My Peeps. It's yellow inside. Perfect for Easter. And we're selling it for $9.95. We pretty much keep all of our Ray Dunn mugs anywhere from $6.95 to $9.95, depending on their value in the resale market. This one's in good condition and it's cute. Yeah, I, uh, I, I like that it's yellow inside on that one. Yeah, I think that's fun. All right, little bird in the nest. I'm always trying to find nests and I never can. So. A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. Whatever I that fix means. the camera. Somehow I ended up like way over here on the side. <laughs> we had to stop because Zeb had a follow-up doctor's appointment for some blood work he had done, but we're back now. So in case you notice, there was a little edit in the middle. That's, that's what, what happened. happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, so the bird in the nest. The bird is getting painted. The nest is not getting painted. We paid a dollar for it and we are selling it for um, well, $95. But the bird was Two, so you're you're into three bucks for this guy. No, I only paid a dollar. They didn't they didn't bill us separately. Well, I don't think they no, they us did. Separately. They did. Yeah, dollar two dollars. Well, it's okay. I'm gonna paint the bird and it's gonna be twelve ninety five. Brent was on it. He was he was getting all the tags. He could right. hardly see. He only had one eye, but he was doing it. He was working hard. All right, a dollar fifty. And we're selling this one for $9.95. We've actually had a similar style in the shop. I actually like this one. It's a little distressed, little moss on the side, little mini topiary. It's good. Um, this, I saw this on the shelf and I'm like, I have to get it. It's like a shelf sitter. It hangs over the edge of That's like so a cute. book or a shelf. It's a little calf. And if you've never seen a little tiny calf, they're very playful, just like most small animals, but super mischievous if allowed to be. I uh, want to see a little baby calf. All around, revolving around food. But this was a dollar. We're going to leave it kind of like this bisque ware here. It does need some magic erasering, uh, but we'll get that taken care of and it'll be $12.95. Next up, we have a little sugar dish. It is missing the lid. These are perfect for succulents. We always pick them up even if they don't have the lid because they're so cute. It's got like a scalloped edge. It's got an embossed detail, just a darling one. It was a dollar and we're selling it for $9.95. If no one picks this up, Kaziah has all of the stuff she needs. Except for the succulents to do succulents. So we might start having her plant some. It's perfect. Winter time is the perfect time to do little indoor succulent gardens. We planted, uh, cause I just planted a fiddle fig for the shop for the winter. We just want to have some, if you guys live somewhere where you get sunshine all winter long, fabulous. We live in Utah and we get snow. And so I just- And the sunshine we do get comes in sideways and yeah. it's not very strong. <laughs> so I just love um, plants inside when you can't open the windows or doors anymore, helps things stay fresh and oxygenated and just, I need to see life. So succulents will be fun this winter. An egg basket, what? <laughs> I love them so much, especially when they have like little wood handles. Um, this one is fine as is, not doing anything to it. It's nice and small. Um, probably still fit about eight or nine eggs in there yeah, if you, you want to. Just a couple. If you're not like us with 20 something backyard chickens, if you just have like five or six. Our girls are slagging right now. They're going through the winter molt, so they're, they're putting on all their winter fluff. Uh, and they, they're not good layers when they do that. So I'm only getting like five or six eggs a day out of 20 birds. What are you ever gonna do? As it is, I'm still, once a week I go through the eggs and I um, hard boil them. So that way the kids will eat them for snacks or for whatever. And we're still not like eating all the, the eggs. No, we have a back stock. I've been freeze drying them too. They did good <laughs> work prepared. all summer. All right, so this was a dollar. It's gonna be 6.95. Um, and then time for a little bit of holiday. Jingle all the way. Um, I just love anything that looks like a vintage Santa, which this does. We paid $3 and we're selling this bucket for $18.95. Not doing anything to it. It's in really good condition. Cute little image on both sides. I think it would be darling with a little Christmas tree, especially like if you don't want to have like a full Christmas tree or if you have animals, you could put your small tree in here, stick it up on your side table. Super cute. <laughs> Speaking of Santa. Santa here. Jamie could not leave this wood cut out. It's He's just, so sweet. It's MDF, but someone's done some good, what is it, toll painting? 
So I don't know, it's hand painted, it? it's darling. I think it'll look cute at the front of the shop. Um, so well, it was can't see his face. $5 and it's big. It's probably what, like 36 inches? Oh yeah, Santa's huge. He did maybe originally have something in his hand like a candy cane, but it's missing. I would put a candy cane in there, but the hole's not big enough, so I don't know what. Yeah, you can do what you want with it. Um, it was five bucks, we're gonna sell it for $69.95 does have a couple little scuffs down here at the bottom, but at this point, he's got enough age on him. It just looks like intentional distressing. He's cool. And he is older because the MDF, look at the back of that. That is an older pattern of MDF. MDF is a little bit more solid now. Well, so you have more. this. This is more like a chipboard where like the MDF we use is uh, medium density, as hence the MD. So it's just uh, different. It just, yeah. I remember MDF looking more like that back in the day. It was more prevalent. We'll go with that. They're not using CNC's as much in, your, in their garages. Next up, let's show the Pampered Chef. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you many... Pampered Chef Bra 2.0, show them. Many years ago, I was like, what is this? Well, actually, many It was months. like two years ago. I was like, what is this, a Pampered Chef Bra? Actually, it wasn't two years ago. And she ago, brought up right there in the thrift store. It's not. It's how you cook eggs. And the last one we had sold, so I had to buy another one. This one was like a dollar, and I'm selling it for $19.95, and it's in good condition. You put every your eggs in here, and you bake them. Or you can microwave them. Um, every time we have one of these, your mom's like, those work perfect in the microwave for your eggs. Her mom, she loves microwave, the microwave queen. Like, she cooks everything in there. If you can microwave it, she wants it. And when we use the stove for things you could microwave, she's like, why would you do that? Now, there are some health questions that come to mind, but she's 84 now, and so I'm gonna say it hasn't hampered her. Nope, not in the <laughs> least. Next up, little pampered chef situation here, Patriotic Heart. 2005, um, we're selling it for 9.95, and we paid a dollar. I actually really like this. I've not seen the patriotic eye before. I just thought it was cool. It's kind of like those, what is it, brown paper bag mm -hmm. um, style. It could, you know what would be cute is if you put a pretty ribbon on it, you could hang it on your tree, you could paint it and then hang it on your tree, or you could use it for cookies, which is the actual reason for it. Yes. No judging, however you Take decide to use it. Make yourself a delicious patriotic cookie. For $9.95, you can use it however you want. All right, this is a really awesome shadow box. I don't know about the mold in the middle with the key and the keyhole lock, but the frame itself is fantastic. Um, we're gonna paint the frame. This is called Victorian Door Plate 4. Um, and Is that what you called it in the listing? No, but that's what it says on the back. I'm reading it now. There's hanging hardware on the back. It was $5. Once we paint the frame, it'll be $39.95. And we're leaving this in there for your Victorian vibes. Yes, we are. Um, speaking of eggs and chickens, we got another one of these. This one's cooler than our last one, Don't apparently. Don't tell that to the person that bought the last one, though. No, I actually like the last one because it was copper and it would spin. But like these better. ones online sold for a lot more. Yeah, 30 bucks is what I saw them for. Actually, Walmart had this for like 38 or something at the Walmart app. Um, we're selling it for $18.95. So that's going to give you a just a detailed... little Just a little demo since we've got the eggs here with us, you know. Yes. It's now a great It's a beautiful way to display your uh, you fresh pull eggs. Pull the egg from the bottom and then they roll down. And you always know which eggs are freshest. There you go. You can we always... just eat. I just try to go through our eggs every week. That's how I do it. Yeah. And if just... we get a lot of eggs, we put the fresh eggs, the oldest eggs out here and the fresh eggs in the pantry. But then this would not work for us because we have way too many chickens. I feel like whoever buys this needs to buy this. And you have like the complete backyard chicken situation. You have your little basket to collect and your little holder to keep you organized. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell we like backyard chickens? We Did we show this one already? I don't think we have. I think so, everything out here still needs shown. So we got to hustle up. This is from Crate and Barrel and it looks like speckled spongeware or enamelware. They're all ceramic. They're in good condition. I'm not noticing any chips or chips. I also like the, the cup. It's like one cup, half cup, third cup, and is that a quarter cup? Yep, and they all have little spouts, so you can use them for liquids or um, That's chicken. particularly handy, because sometimes liquids, if you just kind of, if you're supposed to like whisk it in, it wants to like dribble down the bottom of the measuring cup, and the little spout helps it to run over. And let's be honest, it's just super cute. So I guess I need to move things away so I can remember. I feel like we've been filming this video for so long since well, we started Well, we took earlier. like a two hour break in between, so. Life happened and then we came back. All right, next up, Zeb, tell them what you bought. So I got this because the holidays are upon us. 
um, and greeting cards are hopefully coming your way. We actually or pictures. We actually don't get a ton of greeting cards anymore, but we I thought we would. Them. Yeah, when we mail greeting cards out, we get a lot of greeting cards back. Uh, funny how that works. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe we'll year. do them this year. Maybe if there's time, but I just liked the base on this. It's like a heavy metal. I want to say pewter, but I can't guarantee that um, base. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10 greeting cards can go up on here. You can do two sided. I also thought it would be fun if no one buys it, we can use it in the shop to display postcards. The, yeah, the postcards and stuff that we make. So. Or just art. We have those French postcards too. Oh yes. I am kind of sad that we're not going to France because I want to Maybe stock up we'll on duck postcards. into somewhere and they'll have some French postcards for you that they I just they know found. exactly where to go. It's true. We'll see. You just never know where we're going to end up. We're planning on just England, but should the mood strike? She really wants to go to France. I could wind up she's in got France. like a she's got like a uh, romantic love affair with France and their junk and it's really hard Don't for say, her. Don't put it like that. To be like, so close. I can't come see you. I can see it from Dover, on a, unless it's cloudy, which it's gonna be because it's gonna rain the whole time. Really what <laughs> it boils fall. down to is, it's supposed to rain the first weekend we're there, and English people don't like to do the boot sale in the rain. Well, because they're usually the out French in a field. And the French people, they just cover up their stuff and they keep selling. They're like, it's raining, ain't they no They got like deal. a big clear plastic tarp situation. And like tablecloth, and like, you can see it, right? You can see under that, yeah. It's still full price. <laughs> Although the Ashford boot sale, is rain or shine because they just put it underneath the horse stalls. Yep. So we will definitely be checking them out. Okay. Um, we have the leaded crystal candlestick 24 set. 24% American made. $1 each. And for $19.95, it could be 100% your set of crystal candlesticks. Yep. These are these are great little tapers. They work good on like a medium sized table. You just still put a bunch of stuff in between and have a little candlelight dinner. You know, when are you going to have a candlelight supper? I was just thinking that. Like, as I said, candlelight dinner, I'm like, we should probably just do that we for fun. We have two silver candelabras in the hutch. We could just do that for fun. Like, who's eating candlelight dinners? Raise your hand if you're having a, if you're getting invited <laughs> What's that show? to candlelight keeping up appearances. Keeping up appearances. To the candlelight oh supper. If you have not watched Keeping Up Appearances, it is hands down my favorite British TV show of all time. Uh, I will watch it anytime. Like why there's not more, I don't know, but it's the best. So you're welcome in advance if you haven't watched it and you watch it because you'll laugh. But she has candlelight suppers. Most people don't want to go to hers, but they wind up being roped into it. Yeah, there's no, there's no avoiding her. It's the lady of the house speaking. Mrs. I love Bouquet. her. Mrs. Bouquet. It's bucket. No, it's Bouquet. All right. Okay, we have a selection of metal for you. Okay. Um, oh, oh can you grab that too? That's not metal. That's, That's not actually metal. resin. Um, this is cast iron for your little uh, Dutch, uh, what do you call them? Able skewers. Uh, able skewers? Able skewers? They're little like puff pancakes. Yes. I put it in the listing what it is. Now, this is pretty rusty. However, However, I will unrust it for you, season it for you. I might even do a little baking in it before I send it to you just to test if it actually works. So that is a cast iron, I don't wanna say expert, but he has brought back many uh, rusted cast iron pieces. I just love it, it's timeless. This will be around when I no longer am. Like cast iron is just fantastic. There's a few things that you can buy that you pass on to your children, silver, any kind of precious metal, so silver, copper, copper, brass, you can pass that on to your kids. Linen, anything that's made of linen, um, and cast iron. Like it's really a timeless, it's gonna be around. It, whenever you see like a cottagey type kitchen, they have cast iron, they have copper, they have linen, and that's because those things are an investment and then still last. Did you tell them the price on that though? Uh, 22 bucks. Oh, okay. I paid $2 for it. Yeah. It's gonna be twenty two ninety five. dollars If we had one, we need one with like 42 holes in it to feed our family. We need like an evil skeever. Like, <laughs> that's why we need a bigger stove. So At this, least that's the plan. Yeah, so this is like a wall hanging or I just thought that this would be cool like over like a doorway. Yeah, it's I called it a pediment. It's cast iron. It was $4 and we're selling it for? Uh, $34.95. Which I saw them 50, 50 bucks and up um, because cast iron is just I mean, a high value. 
in the event that you need it to be weapon grade, you pull this <laughs> off the wall and boom it at that. someone. We're always thinking about multiple uses for home decor. You know, if you could even throw it, this thing is like 12 pounds. I feel like pounds. you put some thought into this. 12 pounds. All right, we got to move on. We're going to be, <laughs> we're not going to make it. It's going to be like midnight. We got to leave to England tomorrow. We're not going to get through this It's going to be video. midnight over on the East Coast. They're going to be like, oh, they're still talking over there. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're, we're a little bit uh, overwhelmed by the things that we have to do, so we get chatty. Yep. That's just the way it is. So I found two of these this week. One I passed, Jamie picked this one up. The reason I passed it is because one side was like super high. This is cast iron, right? And Rot, they painted Rot, Rot iron. iron. Rot iron. Okay. Rot iron, yep. Um, but great little easel. Let Would me, where's our frames? Where are our frames at? Where are our frames at? They're back there. I was he, gonna put a cookbook, but. Here, I got. IPad, Cookbook, frames, uh, I'm gonna go, a plate, a platter. I'm gonna get a little distracted and do some crafting while you show them out. Oh, this is gonna, this was $4, it's gonna be nineteen ninety. Oh, are you gonna show them the frames? Okay, Sand I'm gonna keep going over here. Like, it comes by itself. If you want the frames, those are separate. All right, three-tier tray, perfect for your afternoon tea, accoutrements. Can you tell we're getting ready to go to England? We I, have actually never had afternoon tea because I don't drink tea and I like larger portions of food. But <laughs> it is, I have gone into a tea house and purchased cake to go. They always look at you like, why aren't you? Because the one thing you can learn from, and I'll get back to showing you stuff in a minute, but what you can learn from Europeans is don't rush food. They do not have fast food on every corner where you can drive through and eat your McNuggets on the way to your next meal. American fast food is creeping in. If you need to go get some McDonald's, they, they do got have you. it. It's just not on every corner. Burger so King. when you step into a tea house and you're like, I'd like two pieces of cake to go, they're like, what? You don't want to hang out here like this with 42 other people drinking tea for two hours? Because they're generally small and very close. I'm like, I prefer to eat my dessert in front of the TV in the comfort of my own home. Let's just say there's not a lot of <laughs> secrets in those establishments. That's why they say that you're spilling the tea because that's where they go to, you know, spill, spill the, the tea. tea. What's the tea today? <laughs> Anyways, if you'd like to have your own tea, all that to say, we have a three-tiered tray. It will ship flat pack, so we'll take it apart and you'll have to screw it together. Um, and this was $2 and I'm selling for $29.95. I hope whoever gets that appreciates that I actually had to do some major reconstruction. That thing was all bent up this and janky. This was janky. If you watched our thrifting video and you saw it, it was like off to the side. Zeb straightened it up. He tightened up Couldn't the screw get on the tight. bottom. <laughs> so it will screw back together nicely. You wouldn't think so, but it, uh, it required quite a bit of work. You were up for the task. Okay, next up we have this little hook. It's a bird cage and it's not priced. Um, it was, it's on the, it's on the oh, tag. Oh, it's underneath. It's a, it was a dollar. It was a dollar. And was. we're selling for $14.95. Perfect for your coats or your. I actually really your like that. Aprons, it's cute. See that? I'm not gonna paint it, we like it as is. I like a good hook. Next up we have this bohemian, um, Aluminum peacock feather. It's got little feet on the bottom. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta get ready for the UK. Aluminium. It's a triumph, really, this aluminium. It is. It's our, if you guys watch the British Bake Off, when they say things are a triumph, it's our favorite. So after we get back from England, everything's a triumph. Anyways. It's such a good use of the word. This aluminium peacock feather is a triumph. It was $3 and we're selling it for $22.95. We do need to clean it. It looks like it's got some sort of crayon thanks to whoever kid decided to do that. We spent a lot, we actually buy magic erasers in bulk by like the 100 pack on Amazon because that happens a lot. I had some chairs where some kid had taken a pen in the rushing and, and I got it off with a magic eraser. All right, next up, We've got a couple of things here. Mercury glass vase, $2. We're selling it for $14.95. You know we love anything mercury glass. Um, and then I didn't realize that this was valuable because it says SHI, but apparently it is. It's fine china, golden reflections, little sugar dish. So sets of these sell for like 200 bucks. Yeah. Like if you have like the creamer and the, the teacups and the plates. There is a little bit of the gold that's, it's not chipped, but it's just missing from the top. So I'm only asking $14.95 and I paid $2 for it. And I included that a little bit of the gold was missing in the listing. 
All right, I think the only thing left to do, I think you've done all that. I need to show this. This is actually really cool. This is um, actually originally from Creative Co-op, which is a wholesaler that we love. It's like old reclaimed wood and then they've cut handles in it. And then I, it has glitter in it, so I'm assuming somebody used this for Christmas. So picture this with a bunch of glittery Christmas stuff and some candles. This would be a great like centerpiece. I would suggest using the LED candles. Those are some of my I favorites. actually studied this pretty hard. They did the flat end on the outside, and then this is just old like timbers that was like live edge, and they put the rounded edge on this. Um, <clears throat> I may have to try that. I just love the handles. It's really cute. Yeah, those are like hand carved out. Like it's it's a good little tote. It was five dollars and we're selling it for I think twenty six ninety five. Zeb didn't write that on there. It's twenty six or twenty four. You'll have to check. Yeah, I forgot that was that was a side note. Um, so we the next thing we've got is oh, are you showing them your product? I just see. Look see what how, you did. See how cool that just got. So that is the picture that we're going to send with that frame. So maybe somebody will want to buy the frame and the frame holder. Oh, Redrick walked in. So uh, Redrick just got home from school. Cody's so. got to let him know that Cody's home. Hang on, Cody. Redrick, we're, we're filming the thrift haul. We'll just be a few minutes. He's just going to go get. Go show Cody, Cody that it's you so that he can get off a high alert. I took Cody to get his nails trimmed at the vet because he's kind of fussy and doesn't like to let us do it. No, and he like full on will bite you. <laughs> And the, he was barking like crazy. And I'm like, I'm sorry, my other kids are much better behaved. And they're like, he's a schnauzer. Like he's gonna bark like this till the day he dies because that's just how he is. It's like, somebody tell his dad that. Although Zeb says he's not Cody's dad, but he is. Okay, next up we have these three candlesticks. They were $4, $3, and $3. And there's a Werther in this one. So we actually have to get that out. <laughs> some, it's like in Some the kid wrapper. was at grandma's and poked a Werther in the candlestick. <laughs> It's still in the, the it's wrapper. It's in the wrapper. It's probably delicious. Let me have that. Anyways, and we're going to paint them all and sell them for $42.95. So sidetracked over there. Cody, you can be in here, but no barking. Don't raise your eyebrows at me. He can't stop it. He was so mad after he got his nails trimmed, we went and got a pup cup at the Quench It soda shop. Were you okay after your whipped cream? Yeah, he was. <laughs> All right, so this was $2. It looks like cast iron, but it's not. So we're gonna paint it and give it a new life. And it will be $28.95 once it's painted. And then I, no, Zeb, you found this, right? In the lamp section? Yeah, it was in the lamps. It was hiding over there, like. It was, it looked like it was a lamp, but it's not. It's a candlestick. It was $5. And once it's painted up and super cute, it's gonna be $36.95. Yeah, I gotta get this mother's out of here anyway before we ship it out. So I may as well get it out now. This keeps sneaking to the bottom. I just don't know which hole they poked this into. All right, next up, we've got this bird and clock here. It was $1.50 and Zeb's going to paint it up and it'll be $24.95. I do not like the paint job at all. It no, currently no, looks like good. it's been involved in a crime scene. It's yeah. literally like blood splatter. I'm like, this is a Halloween decor? I don't know. But we're gonna give it a new look. Hopefully it won't look like it's been involved in a crime scene anymore. Hopefully. Next up, we've got these two shelves. Um, where they're exactly the same. We sell this size. <laughs> I'm not eating that. That's so old and dusty. Yeah, but it's gone. Don't, love, don't open it. I These love, are gonna be $29.95 once we paint them. I love Werther's. You don't eat processed sugar. I don't. And I wouldn't eat that. No. Did your mom ever tell you that like you don't take candy from people you don't know? No, I just kind of. Did you listen? The first memories I have of that was in California where my teacher told me that sometimes bad people inject kids candy with stuff and I needed to inspect it. And since then, I'm like, why would you tell me that? I was five in kindergarten. I still, it's stuck with me all these years. Because she wanted you I've, to I've been inspecting my candy for like 40 years and I never even have had one be bad. Well, thank goodness for that teacher. Okay, next up there's a tote that somebody did math on. Um, <laughs> it's literally got <laughs> equations. Like that's some pretty big long division over here. Like, but it looks like they're doing good. 57 like remainder two. One 57 remainder two. Three, three, goes three into divided three. by 332. I don't know if that's solid math. Oh, that's, they messed up. <laughs> but we're going to paint this and get rid of the math. And Maybe it'll it's 1.5? No, that's not right. 28.95. It was $2 to begin with. And then 
Next up, we've got this cool basket. It was $3 and it's gonna be $19.95. Oh, love the tobacco basket. That was just sitting on a cart. No one was jumping on it. I'm not, you know, I will take it. Yeah, it looks really cute with greenery in it. And then the last thing that I have to show you is this tray. We picked up one last week. It was $3 and we're selling it for $34.95 and it does have hanging hardware and it's hand painted. And we're not painting it because the paint job is good. All right, how are you doing with your little project? I'm right? doing good. Also, I just wanted to talk about real quickly, um, we had a fall release for paper and a small little mini Christmas release for paper. Um, so if you guys need those, we have all the papers in stock, the full large format, which we haven't played with those in a while, but just wanted to remind you guys, we have like, I think we have like 30 designs that are 20 by 30, 18 pound tissue paper. Um, and yeah, you can Santa get a ton of projects out of them. Um, the, Zeb, what are these called? This is the pastoral. This is the cows under the tree. Cows under the tree. And then this is like this the This is cottage, the cottage by the road. By the road. I think I helped name these. That sounds like something I would name them. Yeah. And these are rice paper that you can decoupage, but we like to use them for art. So that's what we're using here. So if you guys have your own frames, be sure to check out our rice paper because they do work really well for that. I am, I am hoping um, when we go to uh, England, in the UK, because we we're going to be pictures. going up and down. I want to get, I'm going to be looking for old art and ephemera that I can use because a lot of these places that I'm buying the licensing from, uh, they're getting it from over there. And we're going to be over there. So I want to try to find some original things, some old postcards and bring back some fun kind of paper crafting type things. We have that large format printer that I haven't even unboxed because we've been so crazy busy and it came a week before it was supposed to. And so it's just been teasing me out there in the garage. But and I keep telling we are you, going not to, opening it before we leave. When we get home, we are going to start putting that thing to work and we're gonna have some big prints for you, uh, some new art. If I find it, I don't think I won't. Every time we go over there, we find art. Um, so it's it should be fun and hopefully exciting for you guys. Some new fun designs I keep to telling our him January as well. and we'll see how long I can hold them back. I just, I wanna make sure that we're ready, that we have our paper source, that we have our shipping down because larger prints require different shipping requirements. So we'll see what That happens. is gonna be the trick, like how we ship in all these big prints. Don't forget that our craft kit sign up ends on the 25th. If you haven't seen that video, we put it out last week and you can watch how to assemble the craft kit or sign up for it. You can sign up for that quarterly or um, you can just do a one time only. It's $42.95 for the quarterly sign up and then $49.95 for the one of sign up. So while we are gone, we're debating. Don't hold me to this. We're gonna try the best we can and we'll see what the internet allows over there. We should still have content coming up. Yes. And so like this video comes out Saturday, the one you're watching now. We should have a video um, up Monday, at least Monday and Thursday or Friday, just like our regular videos go up. Those will go up and we might go live at some point from England, but I just don't know what the internet situation is gonna be like. So we'll see. Cause one time we tried to go live from France. It was no point. Um, but on that note, if we have good internet, we want to maybe do like a little thrift haul for you from there with things that we know for sure are going to make it home, like in our carry on luggage and our backpacks. Uh, so comment below if you want to see that, if you're even interested in that. And then we'll, we'll do that and we'll have it all listed. It's a lot of work. So if we don't get enough interest in it, I'm not going to worry about it while we're out of town because it's a tremendous amount of work to like put that up on the website and photograph price it. it all, photograph it all. Like we're, and then schlep it this home is, in our this is like 75% work and 25% vacation. Well, the vacation part happens in the evening when we're not working and that would leak into well, vacation we're time. Toffee pudding and watching the BBC. <laughs> yeah. Watching sunsets. All right, okay. let's let's show them the finished project. We I'll actually probably update the photos on these so people can see the art that is actually coming with them. Again, if you want to shop, it's jamierayvintage.com. Click Saturday Thrift Haul, and don't forget to stay tuned for England videos. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. And we'll see you from the other side of the pond.